Hello, episode 50. I, I don't even know how that happened. I just feel like I've just started this little podcast of mine and before I have even realized I am up to episode 50, which is, I feels like, I don't know, should I go and get some of those helium balloons and do a photo 50? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I need to celebrate in some sort of way. But if you've been with me along this journey, thank you from the bottom of my heart for, for listening each Wednesday, for leaving your reviews, for leaving your um, ideas around what I can cover in upcoming episodes and thanks for just being here it's it's a funny thing podcasting because you do it usually alone Uh, sometimes I do it from home in my slippers and I don't know if anyone's actually listening and then so many people will come up to me oh my gosh I love your podcast or send me a message and total strangers not just my mum and it's you know that's really cool so thank you for being here and and joining me on episode 50 where I'm talking about the real issue that is stopping you from scaling your online sales and how you can fix it. This is a follow-up episode from last week's episode, so if you haven't listened to it, be sure to go and have a little listen to that after you hear, listen to this one. And uh, there is part three coming very soon as well. So tune in, let's get going, and thank you again for being here with me. Hello, I'm your host, Jody Minto, and welcome to my podcast, Online Store Success. My mission is to help other emerging entrepreneurs crack the code for e-commerce success for a life of uncapped income, flexibility, and fun. I'm an award-winning seven-figure e-commerce fashion founder, a certified digital marketer, and business and life coach. I'm also a Prosecco-loving wife, mother of two teens, a Facebook ads nerd, and a crazy animal lover. I've been in business for over 20 years now, and during that time, I've helped hundreds of others start and scale their online e-commerce stores through my coaching programs. I love all things business and know firsthand how rewarding it is to have a career on your own terms, turning a passion into a profitable business and the freedom and flexibility that comes with it. Each week, I'm going to share with you the ups and downs of this crazy e-commerce journey that we call life and help you start that business of your dreams or help scale your existing online store. Let's get started. So today I'm chatting with you about the real issue that is stopping you from scaling your sales in your online store. This also applies to any business, if I'm honest, because it's something that we overlook time and time again. And we think often that it's the, it's an issue with our products or our prices, or maybe it's something, you know, we're not niche enough. There's too many competitors in our market. And 99% of the time, that is not the case. So today I'm unpacking what exactly is stopping you from hitting those revenue goals of yours and how you can fix it and how you can turn it around. Because as we know, knowledge is power, right? And uh, there's so much information available to us to go in and figure out where we might be going wrong and what we might need to do instead. So what's this issue you ask? Eyeballs. Not enough people are seeing your products or your services. They don't even know that you exist yet, or perhaps they've had a, a look at your website once and being distracted and not come back to it. We are very much in a numbers game here in e-commerce and even in my business, my coaching business where I sell courses and coaching packages, the same rules apply. You need to get X amount of eyeballs uh, in on your products and your services before you can expect to make a certain number of sales. And that depends, that, that number of eyeballs does depend on what your conversion rate is, and I've talked about conversion rate a lot and will continue to do so for my entire coaching career because it's 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 it tells us so, so much. However, if you are not considering, one, how many people are actually coming to your website each and every day, and two, how many of those folks are actually buying, you're missing a huge part of the picture of the business model that we are in. It was all about numbers. Yes, okay, there's other elements that need to be uh, in order, such as you know having a website that's built to convert and making sure that we're highlighting and positioning our products in a really attractive way that makes them desirable to our customers. We need to be sending the right sort of people to our website. 
we need to be overcoming any of those objections that they might have once they hit our website such as how long is it going to take to arrive and what if it doesn't fit what are your refund policies so there's lots of other little things that we need to look at as well but the biggest issue is generally numbers there's just not enough people coming to your website so what's the solution here it's first of all doing a deep dive onto where you're currently sitting now and historically. How many people are coming to your website each day? And how many of those people are actually buying? And then figuring out, okay, how can we send even more people to our website? So we need to have a really strong traffic system in order to do that, in order to drive consistent quality traffic to your store each and every day on an ongoing basis. And how do we do that? Through marketing. I'm sure if you've read any business books or tuned into any other podcasts, you would have heard that old analogy that a product-based business or any sort of business really, you know, is almost, I can't even remember the exact numbers, but it's like 20 to 30% of your business success is, is your product. The other remaining percentage is all about your marketing. Because if without that marketing, no one even knows you exist. If you stop your marketing because of X, Y, Z, because you feel like no one's buying, or if you feel like that you're not getting any traction, you're definitely going to get more of that. No sales, no marketing, when you don't do any marketing. So having a really solid traffic system through digital marketing tactics and strategies that continually send good quality traffic to your website each and every day will help enormously you reach those sales figures now digital marketing is a whole nother can of worms and predominantly that's what I teach really the different types of digital marketing strategies available to us as small business owners how we can also manage them ourselves in order to continually drive those eyeballs to our site each and every day and they can be made up of different types of traffic and I'm saying this in inverted commas it can be what we call um, cold traffic i.e. new folks and we always want to have a huge proportion of our daily numbers coming from new people we want to be feeding this sales funnel if uh, and I know I don't talk so much about that because it's people sort of eyes glaze over but we want to be feeding our sales funnel our, our our traffic strategy our traffic system with lots and lots and lots and lots of new eyeballs and then we also want to be re-inviting uh, previous visitors to come back for another look. I know with my fashion business, my products were averaged around $150 per sale. And inside of Shopify, you can actually see how many times a person has come to your website before they've made that first purchase. And it used to really blow me away because I would see people coming to my website for the 20th time over, you know, maybe even over like the space of a month, right? Before they were confident enough to come along and make that purchase for $150. Despite absolutely having a website to convert, this was a million dollar a year uh, sales company and had thousands of customers and making lots and lots of sales. But for some people, it takes that amount of time. So we can't just assume that someone will come to our website for one visit for the very first time and they're going to buy on that first actual encounter with your business they're often coming back on the second or the third or even the fourth or maybe even the 21st visit before they actually buy so when we build our digital marketing plan our strategy we need to be looking at how are we sending new eyeballs to our website and then how are we also reinviting previous folks to come back for another look and hopefully add that thing to cart and go ahead so that is part one of the real issue that is stopping you from scaling your store. Lack of eyeballs or lack of traffic, as we say in e-commerce. We're just not getting enough numbers because remember, generally as a benchmark for e-commerce, if they if you're getting a two or three percent conversion rate, and let me explain what that is, you're doing really well. So if out of every hundred visitors that come to your website on a day, two to three people actually buy from you, that's actually a good place to be that is that is what most uh, people aim for because more often than not I'm seeing one percent or less where they're sending a hundred people to your website each day and only one of them is buying so apart from sending lots of new and good quality leads or people to our website that uh, fit the bill of who our ideal customer is 
We also then need to look at those conversion strategies. And again, I'm using inverted commas. Conversion strategies are what happens then on your website. Is your website easy to navigate? Is it attractive? Does it feel trustworthy? There's so many little things on our website that make a huge difference to whether or not those eyeballs, those visitors actually then go ahead and buy from you. And we also need to be looking at overcoming objections. We need to be positioning ourselves as if we were a million dollar a year business, even if you're only a $10,000 a year business, because we need to be aware that when we're advertising through whatever digital marketing strategy that you, you, you implement, other businesses and other big brands are also doing those same digital marketing tactics and, and sending people to their websites. And if they're sending you know, their customers to a website that looks really attractive, it's really easy to navigate, all confidence and trust elements are there, uh, and then they're going to have a look on your website and you've built it yourself and I don't know, or Uncle Bob helped you and you're like, yeah, it's good enough. Yeah, I can I can navigate it. Surely other people can navigate it and you've got one photo for each each garment and there's no size guide and there's no fabrication details and there's no information on refunds or you don't offer refunds at all and no information on shipping. Who are you, who would a customer be more comfortable buying from? The, the other brand that is giving them all of that information. So there is two parts to this to this solution. It is targeted traffic, sending targeted traffic to your website each and every day. And then there is constant conversion enhancements, constant tweaking to our website, to our product listings in order to make sure that as we're sending people to our website, we are, have got the best chance of actually making a sale. Now, these are high level things right topics uh, traffic systems and conversion strategies I don't expect that you're going to be able to go away and go okay I know exactly how to do this it is something that can take a long time it can take years and you will be doing this as an ongoing basis alongside of product development and any of those other areas of your business and it's something that a lot of people struggle with which is why I have my program online store success which is a 12-week program that helps people triple their traffic and skyrocket their sales through implementing traffic systems and digital marketing strategies and then looking at those conversion strategies as well and even in this program I actually go through and audit every member's website for them I go in and have a look and what often happens is people are so close to their website or on the flip side they're usually only on the back end of it they're logging in and they're seeing a different side of the website to what the general public does and they're not even aware of the problems that are happening on their website so that's something that I help people with and then and then we look at right once we have all of that website correct those conversion strategies in place let's turn the tap on and start sending lots and lots of great quality visitors to your site traffic every single day in order to then start increasing our sales so if that's something that sounds like you know what, I need help with that. Be sure to check out uh, the program. It's onlinestoresuccess.com. I will link it in the show notes. I actually am in the middle, depending on when you're listening to this, I'm in the middle of hosting a number of different free live launch events that help people with this more, but also share more information about online store success and whether or not it's right for you. So go and have a look. I'll I'll link the live launch events uh, registration link in the show notes as well. Um, Go and jump in there. If we're up to say day three, doesn't matter, still register because the main event's happening on day four. And then even if you register, you will get access to all of the replays as well. Plus for those folks that join me in those live launch events, I'm offering a really fantastic early bird discount to be used off your enrollment so thank you for joining me today episode 50 so excited and there is a bonus episode happening this week as well episode 51 where I share with you three ways to make more sales in seven days so I can't wait to share that with you as well thank you so much for being here and uh, good luck with your online traffic and conversions and I'll see you very soon bye for now 
Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Online Store Success with me, Jodie Minto. If you loved it, please share it with your friends on Instagram and tag me at I am Jodie Minto so I can say thank you. And if you really want to make my day, please go ahead and leave me a review on Apple Podcasts and give me a follow. If you'd like my help in starting or scaling your online store, be sure to check out my free resources and programs at jodyminto.com. Thanks again and same time, same place next week. Bye for now.